in this video i am going to discuss about the model in the loop so in our previous tutorial i have given the explanation on the in the loop all right so that is for the understanding of scratch but uh, in this says yes, that on the continuity of the previous to video tutorial in this video we will have the model in the loop but uh, in the previous video i have missed uh, one thing that is a vehicle in the loop so further i have given this as a recap so all, almost you have uh, seen the last video i hope so if not i can give the link in the description you can watch it so that it will be understandable in this video all right so here i have given everything but vil there is vehicle in the loop i have not given so this will also comes into the picture so once all the software has been uh, tested in all the cycles that is in the loops then at the end uh, it will have the vehicle in the loop so demo car will flash and uh, will test so then only it will it will goes to the uh, end user all right so that's what so let's we have the brief understanding before going into the model in the loop so let's have a bit understanding about the flow again so mill sill pill hill and will testing brings in verification validation of model based design technique so this is this complete flow is uh, comes mainly under the model based design technique so if the software is developed under the model based design technique then you'll have this flow so if it required so otherwise the they can directly have a hill or uh, before that they'll have a uh, process in the loop or they can directly have the hill so once the model has been developed then they may have the hill and build the vehicle in the loop test so maybe in most of the cases sill and uh, pill may uh, ignore but uh, if the software is not stable so they want to test uh, you know so complete then uh, software in the loop and process in the loop may comes into picture all right so the approach with respect to the requirement so example if the model has been developed in the matlab simulating platform so the model comes software has to be flashed in the hardware or an ecu of an ecu for a production before few verification steps that is mill sill then pill and hill all right so this is the complete flow so now we'll uh, on respect to the flow of the text they have given here we have the uh, pictorial representation so how it will be so here mill so in this video i'm going to give explanation on the model in the loop and after this it will be sill that is a software configuration for the sill environment or there is sill testing environment and this is a pill that is a processor in the loop the software flash in the controller so here they have given the controller but the name is processor in the loop so when we are going for this tutorial we will explain how the controller in the loop is converts as a processor in the loop all right so again after this it will be a hill hardware in the loop at the end it is a hill that is a vehicle in the loop so all right so this is the complete flow that we are going to see in this playlist that is in the loop and this is our second video that is a model in the loop so the previous video we have given the introduction about the in the loop concept and this is model in the loop all right so model in the loop so model in the loop testing and the simulation is a technique to use behavior of the abstract the behavior of the system or subsystem in a way that this model can be tested and uh, simulate that is verify its functionality but before going to this model in the loop first you have to understand what exactly the model is all right so model the model is nothing but it's uh, just a software here it's a spelling mistake but it's not as fine uh, model is just a software which holds the logic to be implemented in the hardware or the vehicle so it's just a logic or right? it's like a software it's like a code uh, instead of going for a code they the developers develop the model so that it will uh, converts it will uh, program to uh, code uh, that is what the model in the loop specifies so it's a kind of auto generated code if you if you want to debug or if you want to change any logic in the system or subsystem again you can deal with the coding part all right so in general mill testing so anyhow we are not dealing with the model development now so coming to the model in the loop testing so in mill testing user needs to test an individual module that is considered as a unit testing in the model so once the model has been developed so the tester or the unit tester that is a developer has to test the individual module for the model whether it is is it is coming as working as expected or not it's behaving as expected or not that's what the main intention while testing so you have to understand in the model in the loop testing in mill testing the software there is a model will be tested as the unit level 
all right so this is just a uh, example say for example uh, i don't want to give you more complicated so if you are giving here if you are giving one and uh, if there is some logic uh, like uh, here plus one here plus one here some plus in 2000 then the output should be uh, some 2000 or 2500 so again one more time see here if you are giving two all right so in the complete logic will give in 2000 that is what the complete logic says so 2 in 2000 here you will get the 2000 so that what you have to check in the model group you have to give here as a 2 and you have to check this particular variable with the particular the time say for example if it is just a 300 millisecond then you have to check within uh, 300 millisecond whether the particular 2000 the variable is coming or not you have you have to give some boundary value conditions also like if the range is from 0 to 20 then you can give from the 0 1 then 19 then 20 or 21 then you can just have a equivalent val equivalent value mid value you can take uh, some two or three values then you can give so at the end you should give as by the logic uh, that i have assumed multiply with the thousand you'll get so here you'll get whatever the value you are giving you have to get into thousand if you're giving four you have to give four thousand so this is the exact thing that uh, the model in the loop have been developed and tested all right so in a summary just you can see what exactly the model in the loop further once the model has developed for the actual plant in any simulation environment say for example simulating there is matlab simulating which captures the logical features of the hardware system after the plant model is created engineers needs to develop the controller model so uh, you just uh, imagine the the model has been done all right so once it's done then the engineer has to develop the controller model needs to verify the controller can control the plant or not whether it is uh, capable of controlling the plant or not once it done have this we will see in the uh, pl that is processor in the loop so coming to this complete step is a model in the loop and the tester testing the controller logic on the simulated model so here there he is not testing any controller so he is just testing just a logic on the simulated model of the plant so that is what some model in the loop all right so the controller works as desired the tester should take the log that is take the record the input and output of the controller which will use for the later stage of verification so this is the very brief that i have given the model in the loop so if you are really into the model in the loop or if you are about to work yes you can just analyze but uh, yeah obviously if you are in the mill testing or model development of mill testing you would really get more and more about uh, compared to this but this is just a basic that you can uh, you will never forget that's what i want to make you understand so yeah in our next tutorial we'll have the sil testing that is the software in the loop if you're really interested to learn this playlist especially the in the loop so it starts with the model in the loop until vehicle in the loop just hit a like and if you have any suggestion you can leave a comment and uh, catch you in the next tutorial just uh, if you're not subscribed can subscribe and share to your friends too uh, stay tuned and uh, happy learnings catch you in next video